Alrighty, Pokemon trainers, today we've hit the jackpot. Now, I've had a few people message me about this local store near my house, and they told me to make my way down there, which we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to see if the shelves are completely full, like everyone is saying. So we're going to go down there, and whatever we find down there, we're going to take them back, and we're going to open them up here in the setup. Let's do it. A few moments later. Alright, everyone, so we made it to the location just right behind me. Not too sure how well the filming is going to go. Not too sure if I'm going to film in the store or not. So we're just going to go in, check out the store. I'll get a few clips clips, show you the product, what's there, and we'll pick a few things out to open up here on the channel. Alrighty, we've made it back to the car. Unfortunately, I could not film there in the store. I could only take a few photos because the Pokemon card section was right next to the counter. But we've got the goodies. When we get back, I'm going to show you what we got, uh, talk a little bit about the store and what other cards they had there, and we're going to unbox these and see what pulls we get in the video. Everyone, we're back in the setup. Now to show you everything that I've got from the store. So we got a three-pack of Evolving Skies now. These three pack blisters I've heard get some really good pulls. We finally got our hands on a couple of these. Here is our second one. Another really cool pull we got was a Dark Ride tin. Now this tin comes with three TCG packs. Not too sure what type of packs come inside this, but that's gonna be a surprise for everyone. And the last thing we got in the store was a Tarnatar V tin. Now you know I opened up the uh, Empoleon one here on the channel. That store was absolutely crazy. I haven't seen that many Pokemon cards there on a shelf for a very, very long time. So let's track in to our very first Evolving Skies pack. We have made up Evolving Skies here on the channel for quite a while. There is the code card for everyone. Now everyone's been hyping up these uh, ballista packs, so let's see what we get inside right here. Urshing right there, Teddy Ursa. We have a Crystal, a Nitwick, Dribble in the Sand, a Rufflet, Swoobat, and I don't know if that is going to be a Smeagol regular card in that store as well. They also had stuff behind the counter. Now, it was unfortunate that we couldn't really record in there because the where they had all the Pokemon cards was like, uh, it was facing towards the counter. So they were keeping a close eye on me, keeping a close eye on those Pokemon cards. So we have a Scraffy right there, Shubuibu in the bush, Azura, another Crystal, Petsley, Bergmite, Nuzleaf, hey, there we go, not a bad pull right there. An Entei Holo card, single strike. Now, I could have cleared out that complete store uh, with the Pokemon cards, but it's about being conservative and making sure everyone gets a fair crack at getting uh, Pokemon cards because there is quite a shortage when trying to find them, especially in the store. So you definitely, when you find some, you're gonna leave some for everyone else. We reverse underneath that, we have a regular card. Let's open up another one right here and see what we get. I'm very excited to see what's going to be coming out of that uh, dark right tin as well. See what we're going to get inside that. Now, hopefully some vivid voltage as we get the lightning energy right there. Let's go. Wobbuffet right there. Super Wubu in the bush again. Azura, the crystal Pokemon. And underneath that, we do have a regular. The one thing I didn't have at that store, that everything, they had like elite trainer boxes and all that good stuff. But the one thing they did not have was uh, booster boxes. That's what I was trying to find. I was trying to find a, a Vivid Voltage or an Evolving Skies booster box, but they didn't have any of those there. We have a Psyduck, Rufflet, Golduck, and a Talonflame. That's a pretty cool looking Talonflame card. It's not a holo, but it's still pretty good art. Now, I forget what cards we have not got here in this set. I know there's, we're missing quite a few because it's quite a decent sized set. Um, so hopefully we get lucky on this last ballista pack of Evolving Skies right here. Let's see what we got inside. Teddy Ursa, Feebas swimming around there in the ocean. We have Psyduck laying on the beach and a Milo Tick swimming around. And that's a regular Rapid Strike card. Alrighty, let's open up this Dark Ride tin. Am I very excited to get into this one? And you can see there's already a Vivid Voltage right there. So without getting the card out, that is the Holo Dark Ride promo card looking pretty good. Let's pop this open and see what we get inside. Now, we did guarantee three packs. Let's put the tin right there. All right, so these are our packs. We have a Vivid Voltage Sword and Shield, Darkness of Blaze, and a fan favorite, Rebel Clash. Let's start off with the Rebel Clash. Now, that was a pretty easy pack to open up. Uh, Rebel Clash, what have we got in Rebel Clash so far? Pretty sure we've only got a few gold cards. I just saw a bit of whitening on a couple of those cards. They didn't look... To, they didn't look to be in too good of Nick. Roly Coley, a Shinx right there. Applin in the tree. Ballerina in the forest. Magikarp with the Pikachu. I don't think I've ever seen this card yet. It's a pretty cool looking card. We have a reverse underneath that one. There we go. What a good pull. There we go. The very first VMAX here of the session. 
Not a bad pull at all. All right, let's do a bit of Darkness of Blaze. Now, for a moment, from the Tyranitar tin, I don't know if it was Shining Fate, which was inside it, or it was something else. There's a code card. Code cards flipped around the other side right there. I honestly forget what was inside of that one, but we will find out together and see what's inside. Pampire right there. Teddy Ursa, chilling. A Trubbish. We have an Ice Cream, Flushing Nerf and a Galarian Surfetch. We know the pain that we've had from this set. We know the pain. It's been a painful set, this one. The old classic Vivid Voltage. There is the code card for everyone. Let's go one, two, three, four to the front. Let's just hope this one, we know what we want out of this set. We know what we want. So let's just see what happens right here. It's going to be the Rainbow Pikachu. Let's just hope the day we pull that card, that's pretty much all my Pokemon cards checked off the list right there. All right, Joltik reverse underneath that one. It is not the Pikachu, but it is an Aegis Slash V card. All righty, now the Tyranitar tin. We have the, finally have the Tyranitar V promo card right here. There is the Tyranitar V promo card. Let's take the plastic out and let's see what packs we do get inside here. Our packs include, we have two battle styles, a Darkness of Blaze, a base set, Sword and Shield. And there we go, we have a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. I don't think I've ever opened up this uh, set before, so that's going to be a completely new pack. We'll leave that one to last because we have not opened that set. Let's move this tin out of the way and let's jump into a battle souls let's see what battle souls is going to give us today a right, code card for everyone everyone likes a good cheeky code card let's flip it around we're starting off with the green energy right there bishop another energy card camping gear don't mind a bit of camping a glaring slowpoke we have the crab right there horse in underneath that one there we go an octility rapid strike i remember getting these shiny in, I'm pretty sure it was the X and Y game from Remembrance, like a gold uh, auxiliary Pokemon. Not a bad pull. It's always such a good feeling walking into a store and just seeing all of those Pokemon cards on a shelf. Just brings me back to the old times where you can just go to any store and just find a heck ton of Pokemon cards. You might go back to that store one day and maybe try and get a few clips, a few sneaky clips in there. We'll see how we go. We've got a Roly Coley in the cave, Espa. We have a Luxuro. Uh, reverse underneath that one. There we go. Look at this card. A Stoutland V. Woo. What a pull this one is. I definitely haven't got this card. Uh, we'll definitely chuck that one in the Battle Styles binder. What a fantastic pull. Darkness of Blaze, the, pretty much the chase card if you care about that type of stuff, is going to be the Darkness of Blaze Charizard. But we'll see what we got here. We have completed a bit of the darkness of uh, Blaze set, so we'll see what it has in store. Mimikyu, pretty cool Mimikyu card, and it is not going to be a holo. Base set, Sword and Shield. You don't get any more Sword and Shield than the base set. Let's open this one up and see what we have inside. Now, from Remembrance, we've pulled a few gold cards from the Sword and Shield era. So we'll see what this one has in store. We have a Krabby right there. A Rhyhorn. We have a Reverse Rose. And underneath that one is going to be a Stable Eye. It's a pretty cool looking Stable Eye V card. Not a bad pull right there. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Now this pack, I've definitely opened up this set before. So let's see what's inside here. And see what the magic is about these cards. Because... Pretty sure it's going to be four. Yeah, it is four. We do have a fairy energy. We don't really see that here on the channel too often. Let's just see what the cards got in here. We've got some pretty cool cut looking cards. I haven't seen these ones before, as I said. A Lolan Vulpix right there. We reverse underneath that one. Not a bad pull. A Gudra. 